Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here. Welcome back guys to another video. And yes, it's a retro round video. And as you can see, I've been really busy. If you look behind here, there's lots of racking gone into place in this storage shed. But we'll come to that later on guys. This is just a quick video to show some of the buy-in, some of the walk-in, some of the random stuff <laughs> on a weekly basis, on a daily basis that comes in through the retro round physical store doors so let's show a bit of that and a bit of an update in how the shop has changed um, some of the layouts and things like that and then it's going to be all access to the back area here um, exclusive to you guys you get to see behind the scenes so let's roll the video in the last week little snippets of the last week of what we've had bought in and then we'll come back to the storage area I'll show you guys the hard work I've put into here and also some um, really, really awesome items that have come in and um, haven't even hit the shop shelves yet. This is exclusive to you guys. So yeah, join me in a mo. Let's just take a closer look at these that have just come in, guys. Look at these fantastically detailed Suicide Squad um, figures. These are tremendous, and the spawn figure in the center there, absolutely awesome. Another thing I want to focus on is Tremors 7 movie collection. I didn't realize there was seven movies to the Tremors franchise, and that's a really cool piece of art. We've got to take a closer look at these, the Project Zero games. Some of my favourite horror games of all time. I can't believe that we've got all three turned up on the PlayStation 2. Absolutely awesome. Well, here is today's trading. We've got lots of Super Nintendo, lots of unboxed N64, some Xbox One, some GameCube, and loads of Wii. Let's get sorting through this. Well, here we have another trade-in, guys. Some lovely Dreamcast games there. We've got Silver, a nice one. Revolt's a great game. But yeah, we've got some nice games traded in there, and we've also got some more Mega Drive games. Blue Spines! Lovely jubbly. Another buy-in guys look at this an awesome the, in my opinion the best Batmobile we've got some Transformers we've also got these really cool world of Nintendo Samus figures from Metroid Prime I believe I could be wrong but I'm sure it's Metroid Prime on the Wii possibly we've got the little morph balls there really cool didn't last long them guys they sold pretty quick and then we've got Prowl from 1981, a G1 Transformer. Wow. <laughs> Considering the age, that's pretty good condition. And the bonus is, 
he has all of his weapons. I don't think he's going to last long. Also, we've got these really cool audio tapes come in. This is what I mean. It's just so diverse. Transformers audio tape there. Um, we've got another Transformers one here. And then this. Guys, in comments, let me know more about these. Aliens vs Predator card game sets. Premier editions. I know nothing about these. These were a, a trade-in, a walk-in. Um, I need to do some more research on these. But look at these beautiful box boxes. None of these have ever been opened or played with. Um, I need to do a lot more research in finding out the value of these. And whether they're readily available here in the UK. You have my good friend Mark, one of my regular customers, trading in this beautiful Mega Drive with a big bunch of games here. He's trading these in for Dreamcast games. He's sticking with Sega. And look, a lovely six-button Japanese pad. So guys, there's a taster of some of the items that have come in over the last few days. And as you can see, it's, it's a random mix of, of retro-inspired stuff. You've got video games, you've got toys, you've got a bit of everything. And that's what makes this job so amazing. And, and I love it so much, you know, you just never know from day to day what's going to come in. Um, but as promised now, guys, I'm just going to walk you through a little tour of the storage area so you guys can get to see um, this a bit more up close and personal. The door is closed, guys. They're all important. Retro Realm ha hanging there because I've had a haircut. <laughs> so up here, first of all, um, this is fairly new. And I want to know if you guys remember this. And that is Bolt and Build. Me and my brother loved these sets back in the day. Action GT. Uh, also, this just come in. And these are all new old stock. Um, Mega Blocks. We've got Halo sets. We've got Assassin's Creed sets. Guys, in comments, let me know if you know anything about Mega Blocks. I take it it's like Lego. But this is uh, the first of the new racks in. We've got all VHS there. DVDs more VHS and then we've got uh, bags still to sort at the bottom there more VHS more DVDs you get the tone here this is all films pretty much on this one and then we come around the corner so yeah lots and lots there guys and then directly next to that Woody the Woodpecker we've got um, a load of dupes mostly Wii stuff there and then we've got all the board games. Now, guys, let me know in comments which ones jump out at you. Which ones hold the most nostalgia? Which ones are springing some memories, guys? In comments, let me know what is doing that. Awesome stuff there. Uh, more bags to sort up there. And we come across here. We've got some toys, more board games. Right mixed bag. This is the sort of shelf to sort. And um, we've got the ready to rumble boxing, which I've shown off there. And um, this, again, new old stock. Uh, the Sonic um, pinball table, which I've done a short on. But yeah, this is all kind of recent stuff. And then here we have more just computer stuff here. This is all mostly PlayStation uh, and the like, a bit of N64. And then we've got a glass cabinet here, which is not shop displayed. It's just all thrown in there. Oh, we've got the Rugrats there. They're new in. But quickly, let's just share with you guys a couple of bits as I promised. We've got Devil May Cry figure, Necker figure, just in. Never been opened. In awesome condition. As you can see there, we'll just avoid the glare if we can from the lights. This one, my demons, guys. My demons are calling again. Um, do I take this home? You know, one of my favourite films, this, and that is The Dog Soldier's Werewolf. There. Absolutely glorious figure. I would love to get The Thing and some of the others in this series. I'd love to see what the reanimator figure's like. But let me know, guys, if you've got any of these figures. But that is absolutely tremendous. One of my favourite films. What else can we share? Oh, we got this come in as well. A lovely Spider-Man cardboard cut out there. I think he needs hanging by fish wire and hanging somewhere in the realm. 
What else? What else have we got? What else have we got? What else can we share, guys? Oh, we've got that coming, a Neo Geo arcade stick. That's coming, but that needs a little bit of love and attention. That, as you can see there, the button's pushed in. This, this I've got as well. A lovely tape case there. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we've got some um, visionary figures. These have just come in. They haven't gone out yet. But yeah, there's so much guys. Honestly, so much. But that's it for this video. I like to keep these videos short and then I'll move on to the next one. But until the next time, I'm Sega Zombie. Goodbye. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie.